Welcome back to another Teacher Tuesday. So excited to be in my Teacher Happy Planner. And we are planning for the last week of August. So in my mini Happy Planner, it goes ahead and transitions you into September. But because I am in my Teacher Planner and I have some more August months, and it's more August days than there is for September, I'm going to go ahead and use these. I'm gonna call this week three. So we have 828, 829, 830, 831, and 91, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my stickers and I still haven't decided um, if I'm gonna make that small group sticker or not. Um, I will make a decision on that next week. I am going to need one, but for today, we're just going to write it in. All right, so my reading stick is a little crooked, so I'm going to try to make that as straight as possible. And then we have social studies test that we have going on for the week. And then next week. What I'm probably going to do, um, is basically you not use this one and use small groups in this, this line here and then still figure out what I'm gonna use my seventh one for. So I'm going to just do this subject here um, as small group. All right. So as you know, I like to go straight down um, when working. So, I don't have anything in this seasonal planner I think I want to use yet just because it hasn't really become fall and I should have used this back to school sticker like at the beginning of August. So um, when September comes, I will definitely be utilizing that. So we do have a long weekend this weekend. We have the see we have um, Labor Day so I'm going to stick this long weekend sticker right over here on Friday so I'll put that there for a long weekend um, we also have spirit week this week and I'm going to save that for my month I do have, let's see, let's find a quote. It always seems impossible until it's done. And I'm gonna put this over here on my spawn group for Monday and Tuesday. And I'll explain why shortly. Okay. And now I'm in my favorite section, which are these really cute clipboards. I love using them. I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna use this one for reading on Monday, cause that's when the bulk of my core reading is happening. And I'm going to use this gold well I'm gonna use this one because it has like that same lavender type feel for writing on Monday okay so Monday we are doing problem and solution so introduce 
new skill. We're going to review vocab and spelling. And we're going to um, read story. And then interactive notebook pages for reading. Um, Tuesday, I am going to be out. So they will be doing sub work on Tuesday. So I'm going to skip Tuesday for now. And I'm going to go down to Wednesday. We are still going to be reviewing vocab and spelling. We're going to do a short mini lesson. And then we're going to start stations. Um, short mini lesson on Thursday. And it's on problem and solution. And then stations continued. And I'm going to use my little pencil here. Actually, I'm not going to use my pencil. I'm going to use a quote for Friday. I love this one. My teacher. Thought I was smarter than I was, so I was. Okay. Now for language, um, we're going to introduce skill and complete interactive notebook pages. On Tuesday, we're skipping. Wednesday, we're going to review skill, complete notebook page. Thursday, stations. Friday, I really wish that there were some longer stickers that kind of covered certain things down here at the bottom. black yay sticker and I'm gonna put it in between language and writing okay so writing we're going to review narrative review mentor text write as class do I in page on Wednesday we're going to do writing conferences writing workshop during small group For social studies we are going to we have a social studies newspaper but we're going to complete 
I am pages. Read. Um, let me see. I love that in the student teacher, the student edition books, there are some test stickers. Look in this one. Yeah. In the Friday, there's some test or quiz stickers. Okay. And I want to read the paper here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of this um, sticker here and put small groups here just because I would rather identify when I'm giving my test um, by the subject rather than over here. But because I have it here, I'm going to utilize it. So we have a wonders test for reading. And I can use a little star icon here. I can use this icon, this pink one. Actually, I'm going to use this little coral one here. For social studies. Here and these two, I'm going to use these little square stickers here that have these to do stickers, like these little checklists, so that I can identify the things that we're going to be working on in small group. So, in small group, we I'm going to be using the um, the learners that we get. I'm going to be using my iReady data. We're going to be working on writing. And then they're going to have some independent time. I'm going to do a review on Thursday small verbal quiz and this will be for my small group and answer question time and then mini anchor charts I like for my students to have their own so they're they're going to create their own mini anchor chart on Thursday and so Next week, plan is going to be um, to work on, and I need a to-do list for that as well. So I'm going to grab this green one that says to-do, and I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to use my black pen. I want to create a center form to be used as a grade and 
don't forget to record next week's IN instructions. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, basically create my interactive notebook pages on camera and then I'm going to post them, well pull them up in class and we're going to use them for the students to watch them and then do their own. So I'm just flipping through my notebook and I'm going to grab a couple of more stickers and then we're going to wrap this up. Born to Shine. Love this. Born to Shine. Now this came from my student book, so it's not going to completely fill up the um, corners. And that's absolutely fine because what you can do is kind of layer some other stickers on top. And then in my teacher book, I'm going to use this Encourage Them sticker. It says, encourage them to dream bigger, sparkle brighter, and live bolder. Absolutely love that. So that's going to wrap up my spread for the week, except for what we're doing on Tuesday. So I'm going to use some stickers from here, my student book. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to work this out. I'm going to get this black and white sticker here. And I'm going to lay it midway. Then I'm going to grab my alphabet sticker book. And I'm going to use the gold. And I'm going to put let's see if I can get that on here sub S U plans Plans. Love the way that looks. It really stands out. So that's going to wrap it up for this week. Not a lot of sticker decoration going on, but I like the way it looks and it's a great plan for me. I have my um, planner laid out on my desk so that I can kind of review the things that I have to do before they come into my room. So thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or you want to see something different or you want me to record this and post it on Sundays, I'll be happy to do that, especially if you're working with the Wonders book. Um, keep God first in everything you do and have a wonderful, wonderful week, you guys. Happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.